Now let's talk about the most important way to hold the microphone when performing. When performing, always hold the microphone at a V shape. When you're holding the microphone at a V shape, you can clearly speak into the diaphragm and um, it gives you a better uh, projection. When you're resting, always hold the microphone at an L shape. When you hold the microphone at an L shape, it's, short, it's a shorter distance from uh, your mouth and when you get ready to do your next verse, um, there isn't that big loud swoosh when you're swinging it. Like, you actually can, different, uh, depending on what kind of microphone you have, if you hold the microphone down here and swing it up, you can hear a swoosh from the air. So, and then you don't want to knock your teeth out. Like, I almost did that one time. So, um, when you take a rest, take a rest at an L shape, perform at a V shape. It's very extremely professional. It makes you look good. And um, definitely do not hold it at your, at your uh, waist. When you hold the microphone at your waist, you got to do that just to get really what you want to say. If you look at the camera, you, you notice how uh, aggravating that can be at a time. If I had it at a V shape, I wouldn't have that problem. Also, another reason why it's not good to hold the microphone at your side is because of feedback. When you hold the microphone to your side, you're extremely close to the monitors and it will give you real ugly, unprofessional feedback. When you hold it at an L shape when you're resting, you, you don't get as close to the monitors uh, as you do when you're holding it to your side. This is at the L shape. And this is by your side. So definitely do not hold the microphone to your side. Always hold it when resting at an L shape, when performing at a V shape. You sound good. <laughs>